Hi, I'm Emma Andrews. Today, I'm gonna touch up on watercolor paper a little bit. The other day, I tried out new paper. They came in a block form. But the thing is, I didn't know I was meant to separate the sheet after the painting has dried. So I took a sheet off and then tap it down on my drawing board and caused the paper to buckle. So this time, I'll leave a sheet on the baking board until the painting is done and then remove it from the board and see if there's any difference. I'm looking forward to finding out. Let's get started. I'm starting with pencil outlines. And then wet my paint using a spray bottle so they are all good to go. As you can see, I use two types of paints, pens and tubes. I prefer tubes as they are most. I'm masking out the tear as it's easy to put in large brushes in the background. I'm wetting my paper with a flat brush. Painting in all sorts of colors that I like, I thought autumn. Yellow, orange, yellow ochre, burnt umber, olive green, and paint green as well. That's just a tree in the background. I'm dropping in lots of paints in the background. And some splats with yellow and olive green. So I get some nice texture and get paints blend in the wash. I'm putting in some clean water to tone it down, but it's not necessary. And I'm focusing on foliage. Splattering with yellow paint. Do not afraid of putting in lots of paints, as they dry light about 20%. Okay, now I'm wetting the foreground section. It's meant to be clean water, but I'll be marking now. Don't forget to change water when it's dark. All sorts of greens and some yellow. I'm softening the edges with clean water and some more splats. I'm gonna check my paint paper if it's dry enough to sprinkle some salt. It's not quite ready yet, so I'm going to wait. Splattering with some clean water. It also gives nice texture. I'm going to try to create some contrast with the deer using purple and paint gray. I'm checking my paper to see if it's dry or not. It's a bit dry, so I'm going to put in some clean water so the paint can fall because I don't want it to leave hard edges.
Hopefully, the plans are well. I'm gonna check if my paper is dry enough to sprinkle some salt. If it's too wet, you wouldn't get the effect that salt creates. So wait a little bit and then do it. I'm taking off masking fluid. I'm using a piece of plastic card. It can also be used to create a rocky texture. With a darker valley of burnt umber mixed with a touch of blue, I'm gonna paint in foliage. I'm gonna go for dry brush technique. Laying my brush flat like this, it means literally the brush is quite dry. It feels I'm overdoing it. It's best if you know when to stop. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the foreground and add some rocks using some paint spray. And a touch of burnt umber. I'm scoring in with a plastic card for some rocky texture as I mentioned earlier. Putting in some bushes with paint spray and I'm gonna use the end of the brush for branches. More rocks down here and a little shadow. I'm moving on to the main feature. I'm using some yellow ochre for the entire body and leave some areas white. Darkening and shadowy areas with burnt umber. I'm gonna be also using some paint gray to make it darker. Now I'm adding in some details. With my Riga size 0 and I'm adding some branches. Splattering with burnt umber and paint spray. I didn't want the paint to go onto other areas, so I masked out with a sheet of paper. It's okay to dip out if you don't want them to be. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my camera stopped recording. I'm back now with my number 2 round brush for finer details. 
I'm working on her or his fault. I'm gonna add in some brushes in the background as it seems a bit plain. With paint gray, adding some definition in the rocks and some shadows. I'm using a watery paint gray for the shadows. But now I'm using a white pen to bring out the beauty of the hair. Working on fog and when you add details, you try not to go crazy like me. I think I'm too obsessed. Okay, now I'm gonna use some white gouache to get some lovely effect in the foreground. Some wax against my brush. Okay, now we are all done. I'm gonna let it dry and then remove the painting from the backing board. Then I can find out whether it is buckled or not. Are you ready to take it off? Certainly I am. Sliding in my butter knife and run along the edges. I'm bringing some samples of how I use the paper the other way. I'm trying to see the difference. I guess the one that I used today has buckled less. It's hard to tell on the screen, but the black foam does help. If you don't want your paper to warp, give it a try. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you all again in my next video. Take care, bye for now. Bye!